going on everybody it's your boy daniel blanco down here in las cruces new mexico um had to see a couple meetings this morning i just wanted to hop on here and give you guys a little little motivational speech you know what i mean give you guys kind of a background about myself and where we're at with uh within the company so um when i first started out uh i was a, um, my background i'm a truck driver by by trade from the past that's what i initially uh was doing uh, since I was 18, had my CDL and uh, I was driving trucks, right? So I was delivering for, at the time, Cisco Foods and great company to work for, you know, great opportunities. I was blessed with opportunities to work for some great companies in my past. And uh, so I built a, uh, I built my work ethic through, through that type of industry, right? And so what I did is I had this motivation to want to just, I wanted to, I wanted to work for myself. I've always wanted to work for myself. I just never knew, you know, when I was going to do it, how I was going to go about it. So, uh, like I've mentioned in some past videos, I've bought equipment in the past, right? And I've, and I've uh, pursued wanting to do pressure washing, but uh, could never find the right mentors or the right coaches to, you know, help me with, with some of the things I, uh, I struggled with when I initially started out. And so uh, with that being said, I sold equipment. Um, I, I purchased, you know, and now I'm back still, still at my day-to-day -day job, uh, getting by, you know, making some good money but wasn't happy right and i know my grandfather always told me you know uh, if you love what you do you'll never work a day in your life and so i enjoyed my work you know i and i've always wanted to work hard i always work my ass off whenever i whenever i'm at the job you know and so i decided well shit, i'm gonna i'm gonna put some uh put this effort into myself right so i i've had uh some vehicles you guys see on my page i've built you know some some classic trucks some k5 some some k10s um some great looking vehicles but I wanted to invest in myself, so what I did, I've sold my vehicles, right? So now I'm, I got, I got no vehicle at the time when I first started out, but I had the dream, I had the, I had the dedication to, you know, do better and and uh, take that initial step to work for myself. So I invested into myself now, right? So now I got, uh, I got. Sorry about that. I had to get out of the way here at the gas station. I'm uh, filling up some diesel. It's insane. What are we paying? Like four. What are we paying here? Four ninety six a gallon for some diesel. What are you guys paying where you're at? Anyways, back to uh, back to what I was getting to. Um, so yeah, now I'm at the point where I've sold my vehicles, right? Uh, I've sold my Blazer. I've sold my K10. Uh, I've sold my. I had an extended cab. It was an 07 and a half. That one had 24 by 16 wheels on it. Massive. on it massive had some great looking vehicles but I'm, uh, now i'm still going to work every day working this job that i'm just i'm getting by with so um so now i got all this money and my wife's like well what are you gonna do you can't just build another vehicle you gotta you gotta invest that into something so bam i'm like all right i'm gonna chase it i'm gonna chase my dream right and so i invest it buy my equipment buy my trailer uh i buy my tanks and before you know it i got I'm down to about 2,000 bucks, 3,000 bucks left and I got all the equipment but I don't have a vehicle to pull it, right? And so now I, I, gotta, I gotta figure out a way. So I found a vehicle on, uh, I think it was on Craigslist and I ended up getting it for about 1,500 bucks or 2,000 bucks or something like that, right? And this is a, a 90, 95 um, straight six Chevy, clean truck but wasn't, wasn't meant for what I was using it for but it got me by, right? 
And so this vehicle, um, I'm using this, I'm pushing its limits every day, right? This truck, I'm close to bottoming it out, but I'm just chasing my dream, you know? Every day I'm still, at this point, I'm still working for, uh, I'm still working for Cisco, right? I'm still chasing my dream, but I still gotta keep my day-to-day -day job, and it's wearing me out. I'm going into work at, you know, about 4, 4.30 in the morning with Cisco. Cisco right and I'm working my ass off till about 3 30 in the afternoon and getting off work cleaning trash cans until about 7 o'clock 7 30 at night coming home you know spending some time with the family with the kids and doing what I can still have to be a father you know and so it's wearing me out I'm working 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 and you know back to work the next day four o'clock in the morning same thing same routine and you know still trying to chase my dream and so I decided to like I just I couldn't do it no more between the two so I wanted to put that amount of hours and I knew if I was working this amount of hours for myself it'll be a lot more beneficial as opposed to doing it for someone else you know what I mean because like I said I've always worked my ass off put my all into the job so that's one thing is you've got to be your hardest worker within the company you know you got to motivate your crew you got to be the one that shows them the example right there's not a bad student but there could be a bad teacher so you want to ensure that you keep you keep your team you know what I mean everybody looking like a team out there you know we have uh, procedures in place that you know how we how we roll up our hoses how we unreal our hoses how we fill up things things along those natures you know what I mean that's all stuff that we do in sequence within each other so you don't know who's out there necessarily working unless you're in first in person with them because we all look like a team out there you know and this is all stuff that I've been taught and you know this is all things that companies I've worked for in the past that they expect out of their employees and that's just something I've uh, put into working for myself as far as you know my work ethic goes so training a great team we're growing tremendously within uh, the company you know what I mean and so let me get back to track on track where I was going with it okay so now I got that that 95 truck working it working it out and I um, I'm still just cleaning trash cans at this point and then I, uh, I'm going to sell this truck because I know I got to get something better. And I'm going to talk to this guy. Don't know who this gentleman is. Just posted it up for sale and this guy was interested. And I uh, went to talk to him. He wound up being he wasn't interested in it after all. And no, no, hard, no hard feelings, but I'm a people's person. I like to talk to people. So I get to talking with this gentleman and wound up being he was a property manager, you know. And I'm explaining my business to him and letting him know I'm chasing my dream, you know what I mean. It's all about networking. That's what it is. And I'm ch telling him about my uh, my story, you know, and he's just like, he was inspired by it. He's like, well, check it out. This is what I got. You interested in uh, taking a look at this job? And they wound up being an apartment complex. And I'm like, oh, shoot. Okay, well, I've never tackled anything like this. You know, it's just something that I just, okay, well, I'm just going to wing it and try to get by, right? And I let him know up front, like, this isn't something typically we do, but I can adapt to change. And look, at, I'm going to give you my best effort that I can to make this property as, you know, presentable and welcoming as possible. And he loved it. So gave us the opportunity to come out, right? We hit it out of the park. Um, we, we did this job and might have bidded it too low, but the opportunity itself was priceless, right? So now I know kind of what's expected in this type of work. And so at this point, I'm like, okay, well, I'm cleaning trash cans. Now I can do some concrete work, you know, I'm going to go clean some apartments, maybe some breezeways, whatever the case might be. I, I want to just grow. <clears throat> so now it's about November or so, and uh, it's coming up on the holidays. And so this is the growth that it's happened tremendously fast, but it's the opportunities that we've been presented and, you know, our ability to adapt to it and grow with them has been, it's been phenomenal. You know, our, our team is solid. Yeah, so now we got a, a solid crew and you know what I mean, our team is our, our team is definitely adapting to a whole lot of change and it's it's great. Our growth is our growth is you know what I mean, it's foreseen. It's not something that we didn't expect. It's just the way how as fast as it's happened, you know what I mean? That's that's the blessing part of it, right? So we've seen the business side of, you know what I mean, the pressure washing and we know, okay, well we're gonna grow to this level at this stage, you know what I mean, and things like that. And so you gotta have a have a game plan you know what I mean you can't just wing this business and that's something that I'm trying to get you guys to understand whenever you're first coming into it or things that I've learned you know what I mean I've taken the past you know what I mean two years or I'm at you're going on the second year of working for myself and I'm telling you things that I've learned along the way that you know it, it'll save you a lot of time and it could help you guys it might be that little gold nugget that you need that you're at that point where okay well 
I got this customer lined up, I don't know how to close it. Or, you know, I, I got these customers and how do I adapt to scheduling them in with this growth? You know, and things like that is something I've adapted to and that's that goes back to, you know, some of the things we'll go over in some of these videos. Um, I couldn't be more fortunate to, you know, help employ other people as well as give people opportunities to learn this industry because, man, it's satisfying. Going out there doing this type of work, you guys, I love it. I love this. I love what I do. I wouldn't change it for the world, you know what I mean? And, I would have never done that had I not had someone on my team as far as my spouse goes. You know what I mean? My wife's been an amazing part of this growth. You know what I mean? She's been there for some long hours. You know what I mean? I I, uh, I go out there and I work. You know what I mean? I get the job done. And if I tell a customer we're going to do something, we make sure it gets done. And two standards. You know what I mean? Definitely going to go out there and accomplish these tasks that we set ourselves up for. But early on, I didn't know how long jobs took. You know what I mean? So first off, I would be out there nights that now take us, you know what I mean? An eight to 10 hour shift it used to take me 15 to 20 hours straight trying to get things done so i'll be working around the clock i'll be starting a shift you know what i mean 6 7 30 in the evening and be working till the till the next day at that same time just trying to move customers around and arrange customers that i could service throughout the same times that i was free and so now i'm dealing with all this change and because I'm working for myself now, so I'm, I'm the salesperson, you know, I'm I'm the tech that's going out to do the job, you know what I mean, I'm, I'm the account, but things like that, I'm, I'm, I'm being everybody when I first started out that I thought I had to be, right, I didn't know I had to have people in certain spots to help grow the business to what we're at now, you know, if, if you're out there trying to accomplish a task that you need a crew of two, three people for, you know what I mean, and you're by yourself, it's going to take you hours and hours and it's going to turn into days and you're just going to it's going to be overwhelming you know and so sometimes it's easier to take a helper out there with you you know what i mean even if you're in the learning stages of it take someone out there to learn with you you know and let them be a part of the business you know teach them everything you know because you need to grow your team early on because this industry it grows tremendously fast and it's 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 a blessing you know what i mean it's just something that you need to account for and be able to uh you know what i mean adapt to so make sure you guys be aware of you know whenever you're first starting out it might be some longer hours and things like that but it's it's all worth it you know like basically at the end of the day what i'm trying to tell you guys is we've come from cleaning you know just trash cans you know and and working a day-to-day -day job to now we're where I'm working full time for myself, you know. Uh, I got a couple of crews, you know. I got a couple of part time guys, and that's just based on, you know, our growth, our our business plan, our uh, strategic planning. You know what I mean? Our knowledge on how to operate our equipment, you know, and things like that. They go a long way whenever you're uh, starting out that you might not know. So if you guys are interested in hearing more about, you know, my story, my growth, you know, I've done a lot of different. Uh, I've done a lot of different, you know, field of work, you know, I've been a truck driver, so I've seen that trade at the back ends of restaurants, how to communicate with my, my customers, you know, we service a lot of restaurants, we service, uh, service the food industry quite a bit, you know, and that's just my background, I've delivered to customers for so long, so I help you guys with different things just based on the experience and, you know what I mean, my background of work, I'm trying to give you guys everything I have as far as what I have to offer, because, you know, at the end of the day, I can only do so much in my hometown, so I'm trying to help everybody around the world grow, you know, and it's it's all it's all about growth in this world and networking, and I'm trying to just adapt to change, and you know what I mean? I'm trying to get global. I want to I wanna make my brand uh, known, and I want to make sure that, you know, I can leave something behind for my kids to show them why, why I did it, you know? I made that change. I made that, you know, I've always seen my parents and my grandparents and, you know, family, everybody work for the man. And uh, I decided to make that change and work for myself. So, yeah, you guys can do it. I'm doing it. I'm living the dream. You know what I mean? I'm fortunate. I'm blessed. And I thank God every day for the opportunities that we're uh, presented with. You know what I mean? Because I know tomorrow everything can be taken from us. So, I try to stay as humble as I can be, work my butt off. I go out there every day and I give my effort to my customers. I give my all to my team. You know what I mean? I'm definitely trying to uh, spread myself out between a lot of different areas, but I'm trying to be the best I can be. You know, I'm trying to grow and I'm trying to help you guys grow as well. So get with our team, reach out to us. Uh, last solution, pw at gmail.com, 575 
805-1297. You could reach out to one of our team members and we can get you guys set up if you guys are looking for some mentorship, if you guys are looking for some advice as far as structured um, you know, growth goes for your guys' businesses. Anything that we can help you guys do to grow your business, you know, questions you might have, chemicals you might have, questions with you guys and help you guys grow your business. I've gone from cleaning trash cans to, you know, owning a business that we're projected to do well over six figures this year. And that's just based on, you know, working my butt off, getting up every day, having a plan in place, going out and doing what I had planned. And at the end of the day, the money's easy. The hustle's hard. Get out there.